Hey, welcome back guys to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be explaining to you guys how I actually bought a melon. Uh, I mean not a melon, a lemon. <laughs> um, so I bought a lemon. Basically means the car had a lot more problems than you were initially expecting when you purchased a car. Um, my car, you know, I felt like it had no leaks. I felt like it's solid, 65,000 miles. Um, it was one owner. It was, you know, the ideal BMW for me. So I just took the dealer's word for it and I bought it. I bought it from, even from a dealer. I didn't even buy it from some dude off of Craigslist. So let me show you guys the paper that BMW gave me after I placed my water puppet thermostat because that was the reason my engine was overheating in the first place. But, you know, there was also a lot of other reasons why my engine could have been overheating and probably messed up my water puppet thermostat again. So I need to get these things fixed in the next couple thousand miles or I'm going to encounter these problems again. Uh, I'm going to try to do these repairs myself and show you guys how I do it so you guys, you know, can go through this. But, um, what BMW Fanatic, when I messaged him, he told me to get a PPI done when you purchase a car. I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't think that was, you know, necessary when you buy a car from a dealer. But unless it's from BMW, you need to get a PPI inspection to make sure the car is 100% what it is that you're buying. It doesn't matter, it was like $200 from BMW, but they do check everything everything it's definitely worth the money and it was the biggest regret for me right now because I'm in a giant pothole of uh, money that I'm gonna have to put into this car basically to get to get it to its value that I'm I'm gonna want it to sell it at, at one point in my life and to be honest guys if I end up repairing everything um, I'm probably gonna keep the car for as long as possible because I know that I did everything for the engine and I know everything's gonna be good for the next couple years and you know, it's gonna be my solid daily. If I do all this money, I'm gonna put all this money into this car, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up keeping it and just end up making it a beast. So that would probably make some incredible good videos, but for now, it's all gonna be maintenance videos. It's gonna be all how to replace different kind of gaskets on the car. So if you guys are into that and how to maintain your car and how to fix things on your car, stay tuned because E90 is gonna be needing a lot of work. Um, it is drivable right now. I'm just gonna not drive it as much as I need to because I don't wanna ruin my water puppet thermostat again. Even though I have two year warranty, I just wanna go back in there and have to deal with all the paperwork again. All right guys, so, let me see a little bit back, oh man. So, before I get into this video and show you guys everything that's on here, just know that, um, I don't intend on fixing everything 100% here. I intend on, I mean, or at least not by a mechanic. I intend on doing most of these myself. There are some of these that I just don't have the tools to do. Um, for example, the the oil pan gasket. I mean, what's your phone? It's a replace oil pan gasket. Yeah, that's on the bottom of the car. This is like all the way in the bottom of the engine, and there's like a there's like a little pan underneath the engine, basically uh, for all the oil. Um, that I don't know if I can handle it. Uh, I'll attempt it, no worries, of course I'll, I'm going to attempt all of these, mainly because I'm for the experience, and second of all, if I mess up, worst case, get the car towed to a mechanic, they'll finish the job. I just don't want to spend that, you know, thousand out of pocket for something that I could have done. Um, so yeah, as of now, the E90, I did take it to BMW, and I paid a thousand four hundred and, I thought pretty much a thousand four hundred for the water pump that's with labor. Um, now, if you ask me, is that an excessive amount for a water pump with labor? I would say 100% definitely. If you're not install a water pump, it's only like $600, $700. They're saying the part for the water pump was approximately $800, and the labor of it was, you know, a good four to five hundred dollars. So that's just for the water pump, which I had replaced, and then also I replaced the thermostat. Thermostat was around $400 just for the thermostat. It was $383. And uh, I think that was including the installation and everything, so labor. So it came out a total of $1,550.50. That's without counting tax or anything. After tax, uh, the car ended up being $1,738 just for the water pump and thermostat to be replaced. And uh, they did clean the car. <laughs> so that's one thing I did feel like when I got in the car, it was like a brand new car. Again, this is all things you don't see. This is all things like as soon as you get in the car, you feel like you have a 100% functioning car, but I have leaks everywhere. So let me just address all those real quick. But yeah, it was nice for them to clean up the car for me. Um, and they were very, very nice. I had somebody there that actually knew who I was from my YouTube channel. And that's what's cool because my when I, one of my videos um, you know, went viral. So not viral, but pretty big. And uh, some people that I know know me off of that video. So it was kind of crazy that one of the people who worked there knew who I was. And then my appointment didn't show up, but he said I can go to his office. He's going to help me make an appointment for my car. Um, and it was just a really cool experience. So 
Again, I'm gonna have this paper on like probably the side of the screen. It's gonna always be there, so when I'm reading it off, you guys will know what I'm talking about. So the inspection and additional recommendations. Uh, this is all the stuff as well that failed that I not did not repair. Um, there's a reseal oil filter housing, which costs $730. Um, I saw this. It doesn't look all that difficult to install. I'm probably gonna end up doing this myself. All right, guys, I did change the angle of it so you guys can see a little bit more of the car, a little bit of me. Uh, it looks like it wasn't as bright out and bright in there. Um, so yeah, the, I needed to do the reseal oil filter housing, which is seven hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, that is something I can do myself. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna order the parts for that and attempt it myself. Worst case scenario, I take the parts out of mechanic. You know, that's the thing with working cars is that if you mess up, it's not the end of the world. You're just gonna to be better safe than sorry. Just get the car towed so you don't further damage anything else. Um, so I'm going to try to attempt that myself, replace ceiling sleeve and pan for the transmission. So apparently my, uh, they found that my transmission fluid has been leaking. That actually makes sense why my gears are kind of slipping and people have been telling me this to replace it. I didn't really know if that was really the cause of it. I didn't see any leaks anywhere. But yeah, because like in BMWs they have this little guard on the bottom, this black guard that covers up all the oil or any spills or anything like that. So yeah, I need to replace my, uh, my transmission fluids. And uh, I need to have a new pan for it because the pan is leaking, which is $356. And like I mentioned already, in the bottom of the engine, there's a pan for it, uh, the oil pan gasket. And uh, that is $1,324. It's a big chunk of, the, of this total. I think, I think that's the biggest amount that I need to fix other than my, uh, my water pump. Um, so that will get done later, probably later in the future. It's not that big of a deal that my engine's leaking oil. What's, what's a bigger of a deal is that my... Uh, my gasket, if you see, um, if I'm going to skip down a little bit, replace valve cover gasket. This is pretty much your head gasket. And when you have your head gasket leaking and it's not functioning correctly, um, you have your coolant and your, your, your oil mixing up into your coolant reservoir. And it's just going to leave, you know, it's, it's not healthy for the engine and it's not going to circulate. It's going to mess up all your pipings and everything in your car. So I'm going to have to get that done ASAP so it doesn't further damage anything else. Uh, so to replace the valve cover gasket is $951. Um... I need to replace my front thrust arm bushings and uh, the reason for that is because one of them apparently are cracked or leaking. That's $301 and uh, the last main thing is replace the drive belt tensioner. Um, it, apparently it was worn or loose. That is $410. So I have a few things missing, a few plastic pieces missing from the car and they're quoting me $324, 101 101 101 101 to replace all those or get them installed. I don't need those plastic pieces. They came off when I took it to another mechanic and they didn't do the job right and they lost all my pieces, whatever. I'm um, not going to, you know, that's life. So for a subtotal without those plastic pieces, we'll average around maybe 100, sorry, 400, 700. Let's just say around $4,000 for all the other repairs I need to do for this car to get it back up and running 100%. Now, if I don't do any of this stuff, um, they even leave what things can happen to your car and what things you'll end up needing to replace in the future even more if you don't take care of these things. Um, I really recommend you get this this inspection done. They really are on top of everything. And this is BMW. They know their cars. So it looks like I need to replace my expansion tank, uh, which is like the coolant tank. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, I need to replace that. That's where my coolant was leaking out of the cap. I need to replace the cap and the coolant tank um, because it, it was contaminated. It had a... It had oil in there, which is what my uncle said. Um, not my uncle, my cousin's dad, I guess. I don't know if I, whatever. I would call him Amul. So <laughs> uh, he, he told me when he put his fingers in there, he felt a little bit of oil. So he knew my gasket was blown. I just didn't believe it. I took it down to my main mechanic. He said that the gasket wasn't blown. When I took it to BMW, they confirmed that it was blown. So they're saying that I need to replace it or other tubes and stuff will be contaminated track so we have to also replace all coolant hoses um, I know now it's I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of oil in every single one of them it's not that big of a deal but if I continue to run my car with all these problems it will be a good two thousand dollar charge just to replace all my hoses in my engine now again this is with BMW doing it this is gonna be a whole lot different if I do it or if I have some a friend of mine help me out and do it so um, to avoid a two thousand five hundred dollar cost I need to repair four thousand dollars worth of things and if that sounds you know a fairly good deal especially if I can do half the things myself and I end up saving a whole lot more money now uh, if I just took this all down to BMW it'll be a total of nine thousand one hundred and fifty five dollars to repair all the damage on this car and that's kind of excessive it's kind of crazy how you know a car that I didn't feel like there's anything wrong with that has that much in damage 
Um, so really make sure you guys don't, you don't, you know, don't fall in the same pothole I did, and uh, get your car inspected. All right, guys. So right now I'm gonna go more in depth and show you what everything is. For the most part, that I know that is leaking. I don't know everything 100%, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that they're saying are leaking um, in the engine bay. So let me just pop open the hood and show you guys. So this is the oil filter housing. Um, it needs the gasket for which is right there. Needs to be replaced for it to stop leaking. I can see it's a little bit leaking over there. I can see in the middle of the engine there's a little bit of leakage. I'm guessing that's what they mean by the head gasket. The coolant reservoir needs to be replaced because it's a little bit contaminated from the oil reaching into it. Um, if you look all the way down there, so it's called the drive belt tensioner, and I also need to replace some bushings. So those are mainly the main things I'm gonna do for now. It's the gasket on the top, the bottom gasket on the bottom, the you know for the pan. And then I'm going to need the transmission pan to be replaced with and restore the fluids, the coolant reservoir, the reseal the, uh, the coolant filter, which is a gasket as well, and then uh, probably need to do the tensioner, the pulley tensioner. Now this is going to be a whole lot more money than I was expecting to put into my car, but you know, as long as I finish it on time, it's going to be worth the money. And like I said, I don't, I want to avoid more problems, so let's just take care of it and uh, you know, even if I end up selling it, at least the next person's gonna have a peace of mind because I'm gonna show them everything that I've done to it on my YouTube channel and I'll show them that I took care of all these things, you know, and I don't wanna give them a car that's a piece of garbage like how the dude gave a car that's a piece of garbage to me. That's just messed up. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. The car is running, the water pump thermostat was replaced, but there's a lot of other problems, but we'll take care of it as time, as life goes and time goes on. Um, so if you did enjoy that video, please smash that like button. If we can get like a, maybe like 50 likes, that'd be amazing. Um, I'm going to try to get more E90 videos out. I'll talk about how my E36, what's going on with that in the next video. But yeah, smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy.